This is the second video in a series of tutorials for the Mod Loader 64 application. In this video, we will set up a randomizer and BPS patch it for Mod Loader 64 online. First thing we need to make sure is that we at least ran Ocarina of Time once through Mod Loader. I'm going to do that. Ah, I've been bamboozled. I need to make sure that my ROM is selected. Sweet, I ran it once. Next, we will need to ensure that our ROM is in a .z64 format. So, I will go to my ROM. My ROM is not in a .z64 format. So, I will need to download Tool64. I will go to the Google search engine and I will look up Tool64. I will click on the first link. I will then click download. I downloaded the zip. I have already extracted the zip. I will then click on the application. I will then go to file and open. I will browse for my ROM. It is right here. I will now click on my ROM and click on this arrow. It is now in .z64 format. That is all. Next, I will go to the OOT randomizer website. I will then click on generator and the stable version 6.0. I will then scroll down and do all of my options. However, I will go to the settings preset and set it to hell mode because I am a pro gamer. I will then look at the multi-world generation and I will completely ignore it because multi-world and Ocarina of Time Online are not the same thing. So I will leave it at 1. I will now generate my seed. After it is done, I'll go find my .z64 ROM. And I will select it. Now I'll click Patch ROM. I will then drag my ROM right on my desktop. Next, I will make a BPS patch. I will go to the config tab and then click make a BPS patch. I will then click create patch. I will first select my unmodified vanilla Ocarina of Time ROM. It is right here. I will now select my modified ROM, which is my randomizer, which is right there. It will then make a BPS patch. I'm going to rename it OOTR BPS, and I will place it on my desktop. My patch was successfully created. It is right here, as you can see. Next, I will exit this out, and I will go to the Mods tab. I will then open my Mods folder, and I will drag this into my Mods folder. I will then exit out and refresh Mods. You can now see that my BPS patch is now there. 
So I will click on my BPS patch and I'll click on my mod. After that, I will refresh this to ensure that I have a .z64 format. I will check my ROM. I will now change the lobby name for a save on this lobby has been created. So I'm just gonna type BPS in all caps. I will now start my game. After I start my game, if it has worked, it'll say randomizer on it. It says randomizer. It works. Now I will have someone else join my lobby. With that someone else, it is me again. I will go to my games. I will ensure that I have a 1.0 Ocarina of Time ROM. I will go to my mods and I will make sure that my OOT online is checkmarked. Since the lobby is BPS patched, I don't need to patch or do anything to my ROM or modding. I just need to join the lobby. I still need to set up my controller. As you can see, it says randomizer. That's it. See ya.